So hello guys again. I do, uh, next part, nothing big. Uh, so we will make our ball, not ball, our block disappear. So let's start. Maybe we can start with fixing the the issue with this owning the block uh, first. So let's do it. So let's go back to the player controllers script, and I I will. Decrease it by one the size because I can't see I don't like big uh, big letters and it, it, it is not no good for me if I uh, If I have a big letters uh, It's weird. Okay, so uh, never mind forget about it guys We want to detect if we hit our block. So we will make basically a bool function uh, which will tell us if we hit our block or we didn't. So let's make a new function. Where it will return a bool. That's why we have a bool at the beginning. We will call it check if hit block. Okay. So inside here, we want to check our uh, if we hit our block. So we have to do some ray casting. So we want to create a ray. So we will call it underscore ray. And we will assign a new ray by raycasting from our camera. So you have to access our camera and you have to call the function that is provided by Unity called screen point to ray. So whenever we click some point on the screen, it will make a ray from this point going straight, uh, straight to, the, this, to the point that you hit, basically. So we want to pass in our mouse position so it will be input that mouse position from the input class and next we want to do a raycast hit to d so raycast hit to d is basically uh, a variable that will store the thing that you hit and also it can store true or false so we will call this thing hit block and this will return either false or true. And we want to assign a function that we will call, which will do the actual ray casting because this thing just on, uh, only creates the ray. And we have to now create a function that will call a function that will make our ray go straight up, straight forward. So it will be a method from physics to D class and it's called raycast and we want to uh, pass in a few variables so we have to pass in origin as you can see and direction so the origin will be our uh, ray wait underscore ray that origin so it's a variable from the origin and the direction will be the direction of our ray so you just write ray that direction and yeah it basically has those values and also we want one thing we want to pass in the layer that we want to collide with so we want to check if we hit our block and to detect which layer the block is we have to pass in the layer mask uh, that we want our raycast to raycast with so i think there's no overload method for only passing the layer mask you can see that this is the uh, thing that we need, layer mask, but we also have to give it a distance. So you can give it a very big number, for example, 100 will be our distance. And then uh, we'll pass in our layer that we didn't make yet. So let's go up and we'll make a public layer mask so we can change it in inspector so it will be public layer mask uh, collide layer collide with layer not collider with collide with layer and let's go down and let's pass it in here collide with layer and I will I have to minimize it guys because uh, I think that you can't really see everything so you just pass in this thing uh, collide with layer or I think I will change the name so I'll hit F2 so I can change it 
uh, and I'll change it to layer to collide with and be sure, make sure to change the, the name at the uh, top also but I have it already changed because I use the re renaming from Visual Studio and now uh, after we have this raycast uh, it will start the result in hit block so you can basically return uh, hit block and you may ask why this one is working because uh, we want to return a bool and this one is a raycast hit to the variable but basically uh, unity is smart enough to basically cast it so change it to a bo boolean value so if this has some value it will basically uh, return a true and if it doesn't it will retor return false so unity is smart enough to change it for us so yeah thank you unity so after we have this function done we want to call it from somewhere okay so let's go up guys and here basically uh, we want to check uh, the moment we press if we hit our block so uh, we are just checking here so we want to write if and uh, the function that we uh, made was check if hit block and we want to call it from here and this will return true or false so uh, we want to run the thing inside here only uh, if okay let's do it the other way so if we hit our block basically we don't want to do anything so we will just write return so uh, thanks to that this uh, everything that is uh, below this return will be not called and we also want to do it here uh, on its health we don't want to set position of the dots if we hit our uh, block and we don't want our make our ball pulse if we hit our block and to do that we can also again do the same if check if hit block here for example we can copy it down and paste it here for example like this but uh, I think this is not a good approach because you are constantly checking this one if uh, if you hit the block each every frame because you are holding uh, the the mouse button so we will make a, a pub private variable that will store uh, the information about if we hit our block or not so here at the top we want to there a private variable and it will be a troll uh, bool so we'll call it m that hit block and now let's we want to assign the the value to it so we will write m that hit block equals to the what will be returned from this function so now this will store our our info about if we hit our block or not and we just want to check it here so if we if this is true if we hit block we don't want to do anything and here we can just check if this if we hit block just don't do anything that is below that and this is more uh, more efficient because you are just checking and uh, the variable uh, and you are not calling the the function every frame so this is a lot more uh, optimized so uh, also we want to do it uh, when we release our input we want to check if we didn't hit our block at the beginning so we want to do the same so if uh, m.hitblock hit block just return out so this everything will be not uh, called and I think that will be it let's go to the uh, to our project and let's see if it works uh, did I save it okay I save it I saved it and let's see if it works okay it's not working 
and the reason why it's not working because we didn't set up the layers so uh, we want to set up the layers so here in the player we want to make a new layer and we will call it block layer and we want to assign it to each of our blocks so let's go to the prefab and let's click here on the layer and change it to the, the block layer and now in the player we can scroll down and you can see that we have a variable called layer to collide with and we want to collide with block layer only so now it should work let's save the file and each of this block should have a block layer on let's see I click here nothing is working because uh, yeah it basically works so you can't move our ball if you hit our block so it's working you can spawn the ball inside the block so yeah that's uh, step one okay guys I, I think I think that uh, I will split it mm, we will do the the disappearing blocks in the next one because this took me uh, a bit of time and I want to split it into small portions and explain everything so we will do a disappearing balls in the next one uh, uh, not disappearing balls it sounds weird uh, disappearing blocks so uh, thank you guys and see you in the next one bye